Oh, this guy looks like trouble for sure. Okay. Do you realize how long it has been since I last murdered something? Five seconds? What's up guys and welcome to Dungeon Brewmaster. So this is a game that I don't really know all that much about, other than the fact that we get to run our own little tavern here in some kind of medieval fantasy. But, like the idea being I get all of these super weird ingredients and uh, I can use them to cook things for even weirder customers. Am I missing a finger or, or, or 10? Yeah, here we go. Oh no. I'm looking for a blue finger, not a, a green toe. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. We haven't even gotten started yet, and I'm already concerned about touching the glowy, wiggly book. You seem to want my attention. Can I do something for you? Are you okay? Woo! You don't have a lot to say. Oh, there we go, okay. <laughs> so, we have free play, but... That's currently locked, so how about we try the story and find out what on earth that is? Act 1, Bloody Troublemaker. Yeah, I don't recognize this guy. He looks like a troublemaker. Not a regular around here. I do... Oh. Dungeon Brewmaster, Bloody Troublemaker. I was gonna say, I do recognize the... Fully functioning dragon fireplace. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Jimmy. You keep it up. I pay him minimum... Wait. Oi! Oi! You're open! Wow, this is a very nice surprise indeed. The old tavern's been shut for months. Not anymore. I'll be assuming you'd be the new proprietor. You'd be correct. Well, good for you. Charming establishment you have here. Well, despite all the torturing and executing they used to do here, but yeah, lots of character. Very, uh, cozy. Excellent location. You have interesting oh, cheeks. Yeah, let me see. What to have? Yes, yes. What, what, what can I get I you, know. sir? Back off one of them there froggy legs. Oh, yeah. You can use that little kitty knife, I suppose. You want me to cut one of the legs off this derpy little frog? <laughs> what did he do to you? Now, follow me on this one. What if, instead of the derp frog, I could interest you in this lovely little overbite plant. It's spicy. You would absolutely love it. <laughs> I don't want to hurt the frog. <laughs> okay, come here, little guy. Oh, no. He's all gooey. <laughs> so, I need to cut off a leg and put it in the derpiest cauldron I've ever seen. Do I? Oh, I do have a derp cauldron. Okay, so you just hang out there, little guy. I'm, uh, I'm gonna do my best to make sure I only get a leg. Eh. Eh. Don't mind the sound, guys, okay? I know it sounds like he's having a jello-fueled seizure, but it's very important that I tenderize him a little bit. He's very tense. He was in this guy's pocket. That's not a very good place to be. I just need him to get in the right position. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. There we go. And then I can get a real easy shot at a leg, just like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. It, it's professional. Where did the... Did you just eat my leg? Jack, how could you? Fortunately for us, Froggy has two legs, but I really didn't want to have to do this to him. I'm very upset with you right now, Jack. Okay, we're going to have to talk about your pay after this. But right now, the customer's always right. He wants this in there. Now then, you want to use that grating what's it over there? Shave off a bit of that twisted old horn. Just, just shave it into the potsies. <laughs> Into the potses. Okay, so we have some horn and we have a grater. Now, demon horn isn't cheap, okay? I haven't seen you around here before, so I'm just gonna give you a little tiny bit. That should do it. Good. Come on, let's have a tasting. Okay. I'm not losing my mind, though, right? You absolutely did eat that leg. Ye uh. Yup. Huh. Okay, Froggy has been reborn! <laughs> kind of. Oh, did he, was he dead the whole time? I remember him being derpy, but I don't remember the little crosses over his eyes. <laughs> did you want him back? Here, you can take your little friend with you, and uh, I'll, I'll get you a glass of him really quick. A mug, technically. Ooh, yeah, that looks... Oh, 
Oh, that, that smells just, just wonderful. Here you are, sir. Enjoy. You missed the leg. Mm. Oh, that's bloody horrible. Oh, you brute. Uh, no, that's all right. My fault. No worries, my good mate. Just pull that there chain and flush out the old pots. Beginning from the start, we shall. No problem at all. Oh, come on. I don't want to start again. You didn't even drink Froggy's leg. You just kind of let him fall on the floor. <laughs> you monster. I guess that's not really such an insult here, is it? How's about I'll give you a sampling? Totally complimentarian. No obligation. Actually, you know what? Even better. I'll let you into an old family recipe. Me old nana's world famous fried leeches. Mm, I could murder one of them. Fried leeches, huh? You. Why does everything have so much teeth? <laughs> so, you want me to fry up a leech with a toe and a little bit of potion, and then I can make a fried unicorn leech? A fried unicorn leech toe. Weird. Okay, a frying pan. Oh, we do have a frying pan. Okay. Is that a high heat kind of thing? I've never done fried toe leeches before. But uh, if we pop you down there, we can grab ourselves a nice big toe. Yeah, there we go. And a little bit of potion. Was it? It's this one, right? Giant monster hands and an absence of some fingers makes everything difficult. You know how it is, right? There we go. Okay, so just a little bit of... Ooh! Well, doesn't that just have some color to it? Yeah, we're gonna use a whole lot of that. <laughs> and it's gone. Oh, no, we're good. And that wasn't what you wanted me to make, was it? Yeah, it was supposed to come out like a unicorn. Instead, it came out, um, well... It kind of came out full of toads. <laughs> I mean, it's still good, right? It, it's a stuffed. I'm sure it'll be delicious. There you go. Are you not pleased? Nope, that's not what he wanted. Crap. Oh, maybe the heat was too high. I was being sarcastic about this being high heat, but if you actually do need to turn the heat down a little bit to make a difference, that is crazy. Okay, so we're going to take another leech. Thank you for bringing a lot of these, by the way. And, oh, I need to cut it first. That's what it meant. No! I'm getting real fed up with this, Jack. You see, the recipe only requires the front half of a leech. So if I do this, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we want that and another toe. Listen, man, toes don't grow on trees. They grow on feet. So I, you're going to have to pay up handsomely for this kind of thing. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to catch a rainbow in a bottle? Because I don't. I bought this down at the monster market. There we go. Good? I feel like that's pretty good. Yeah! We did it! That looks absolutely disgusting. You can have both. Come yeah, on. That's, that's, uh... Verdict? Lovely. Very... Chunky. Really? I think I better go and have a sit down. We can do business in a bit. No rush. Do not poop in my... You you best behave over there. He's having a bad time. <laughs> what on earth? Oh! Oh, we have a customer! Um, hi! <laughs> you would like the head of a leech, would you? Oh, I have so many customers! You are absolutely terrifying yet adorable at the same time! Uh, okay, uh, I have one leech left, I believe. Yeah, this should work. I'm not totally sure what we're gonna do with the stuffed toe leech, but, uh, nope, I can't eat it. All right, well, it's all yours. Yeah, he's still recovering from the last one, I suppose. <laughs> so let's just, uh, eh, there we go. And you don't want me to do anything to it? No, you just want the head of a leech. Easy. Yeah, you grab that. I have a lot of employees around here, okay? I got him out of a hentai. And you want the butt of a leech. Well, you know what? I got leech butts on sale. I got a fresh one right here for you. Thank you very much. I love your hair. Very Trumpish. I love the fact that they don't want anything too complicated. They're coming in here and asking for a raw frog leg. I apparently have a bunch of them now. They keep growing back. Can I, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so you can have one. 
Thank you very much. Okay, you keep hold of the money, right? That, that's my uh, strong arm, technically. And you want, uh, what is that, a rotten frog leg? It doesn't look like it. I don't, oh, it's a plant. Um, no one's supposed, no, okay, it's probably not him. Oh, it's this. Interesting. How can I, ooh, yeah. That's a whole lot of gross. Okay, here you go. I'm happy that people don't want me to prepare anything. Nice and simple. And they even, like, go to their own little booths and have a, have a meal? You want a whole cauldron? I don't sell cauldrons here, dude. Yeah, look. They find a place. Oh, that's awesome. I really like this. I don't know what you want from me, though. Oh, I have a... Oh, that's weird. Okay, so it's kind of like a mortar and pestle, I guess? Do you want the whole thing? So I'm gonna put that there. And then you want a little bit of graded mask. You know what? Not gonna ask questions. Customer, it's always right. So let me just, uh, there we go. <laughs> I'm curious what I could do with all the money. I'm pretty sure I can buy stuff. That is a very fancy outfit, sir. You're the kind of person that I want in this establishment. We need to get this place a little bit more upbeat. Ooh, a salesman. I was just saying that I don't know what to do with all my money. <laughs> it must have hurt me from outside. Okay, hold on a second. So, we can get um, a mug for 120. Looks quite a bit better than the raggedy old mug that I have. An egg timer for 20? Or some kind of demon head for 80? I only have 30. Hmm. Can I borrow 50 bucks? How about you, Jack? You got 50 bucks you can lend me? It's the least you could do. Oh, oh, no, no, come back. Crap. I took too long. I should have gotten the egg, sir, sir. Please calm down. No, Chips. no, sir. No disturbances in way? here. How highly unusual for a seaside harbor town. Oh, slow news day, is it, you silly little twerp? <laughs> so, somebody's Royal showing up convoy. in a ship? Prince's escort. This is it. The big time. Big time? Nobody wears like mine deserve a more discerning, higher class of patron. Oh, I mean, uh, awkward. Well, I've been needing to appear my very best. I can't muck up this opportunity, can I? Landlord! Rub me together one of those newfangled charming brews, will ya? Newfangled charming brews. Oh. So people are showing up on a ship and they're going to be hiring people and you want to get a job. Was that it? I, I can't really understand you all that well on account of all the fumes. <laughs> really should have put a vent in here somewhere. Uh, a, a vent that's lower down and, and maybe a roof up there. That would be a good idea as well. So you want uh, only half? You want half of one of these guys. What is with you and eating small little innocent green creatures? Like this guy didn't do anything to you. You can have Froggy, okay? I'm gonna keep you good and fed so that you don't eat everything that falls on the floor. Let's see here. Should be able to cut you right down the middle, I would assume. Eh. Oh my god. <laughs> it reminds me of, like the inside of Pac-Man diagrams. That is just gross. And you want me to make a potion, okay. Huh. Oh, I thought that's what I was making, but I actually have a frog potion. Yeah, look at that. Oh, de froggy. Can I get a little whiff of that? Probably for the best that I don't. That just goes straight in there. Pot and all. Oh my god, this is actually complicated. Okay, you want a full leech, some mushroom piss, and a root. Okay, yeah, I, I got it. So we, we got the root. That's gonna go in the frying pan. Yep. Here we go, and a little bit of this. That doesn't look phallic at all. <laughs> you see, if you work the head, you, you get all that great yellow liquid out of it. <laughs> the leeches don't really match their photo. Like, that's what confused me at first. They don't have eyes. What did you do to my leech's eyes, sir? <laughs> Come to think of it, I don't really want to know. It could be something weird and kinky. Can I just uh, put this in there? Is that good? Is there a certain heat that this needs to be on? No, it always has it like that. I don't think that really matters. Oh, we did it. Okay, it just needs a little time to cook, of course. 
This is what you wanted, right? And then this goes in the pot. And then a little bit of great mask as well. Holy crap, man. Charm potions are not easy. I wouldn't know. I've never needed one. Okay. Good. Would you like some as well? <laughs> Just a little bit for my floor friend. Oh my god, there's even more. I don't even know what that thing is. It looks like a heart with a nail through it. Do I have... Oh, yeah, I do. There's so much stuff here that I haven't noticed all of it yet. But we do have... Ooh, it's wiggling. Yep. That's a nailed heart. All right. Okay. Well, we can put the nail heart in. And a whole leech. Good, good. And then a little bit more... No, get out of here, T. <laughs> a little bit more of the mushroom piss. You see, I'm an expert. It's my first day on the job. I already know exactly what I'm doing. Boom. Got it. Some kind of weird heart leech kebab. And then that goes in the pot. That has to be it, right? Oh, no, I used the wrong thing. Oh, crap. Ooh. Maybe you won't notice. What's one wrong ingredient between friends, right? I was just bragging about how good I've gotten at this. Okay, so now if I put that in, are we still on track? I think we're still on track. Okay, all I need to do is get a scoop of it. Oh my god. So depending on what you put in, you get something different out every time? That is super cool. Okay, here you go. See how charming that makes you. You're making a mess. Whoa. Oh, I made it down, my good man. I don't know to do the trick, you know. Splendid job. Terribly decent of you old chap. Ta-ta. Ta-ta? That worked really well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, you stay out of the bar. Oh, this guy looks like trouble for sure. Okay. Do you realize how long it has been since I last murdered something? Five seconds? This is so boring. We need a good old war to liven this place up. I've got to keep my edge. Stay sharp. So, you fix me up a bulking brew, and make it extra aggressive, and make it fast. A bulking brew, you say? We haven't used this thing before. I, I mean, I'm a total expert at this thing. D don't even question my knowledge about this thing. Listen, ma'am, you really didn't need to char one of my customers. <laughs> I could have just stoked the fire if you were a little cold, okay? You didn't need to be like that. Um, so I need a couple of toes. Turn that off. A couple of big toes, maybe? I don't know if size matters when it comes to toes. <laughs> One toe, two toe. Oh. Cool. Ooh! I made a big toe, a big, big toe. <laughs> okay, and then that goes in there. Trade up a little bit of gold? Hmm. Look over there, it's a small, innocent patron asking to be pushed into the fire gonna toss a little bit of garbage in there. Did I ruin it? That, ooh, that doesn't look too happy. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I just want to make sure she gets what she pays for. Can this maybe not be in my bar? This, this is, okay, no, hold on. Okay, little, little bit of, uh, this. Right, some gold. You want that graded up? Sure. Oh, that, that's just the lovely sound. <laughs> Oh, come on! God, everything is so broken here. <laughs> what is going on with my hands right now? <laughs> okay, I don't know how much gold is too much, but I'm starting to think that I might be a little bit wasteful right here. You know, gold doesn't grow on trees. You, you don't care in the slightest, do you? <laughs> that has to be enough, right? Okay, so this can just go in here as well. Good? Yeah, there we go. Now, you want one of those. So we start off with a head. What did, why, why are things teleporting? Can you please just hang out there and eh, there we go. Okay, so we have a head, we need a heart and some pee. What is making weird noises over here? You hear that? Is that you? That's concerning. Okay, you really don't want to hear magical noises in here. That's usually the time to run, but I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll, I'll give it the good old college try. So we're gonna put the nail heart in there. And uh, a little bit of mushroom pee. Oh yeah, you can get all the mushroom pee. That's exactly what you want, isn't it, lady? What if I, uh, here we go. 
Can I do a little bit of this? <laughs> what, you didn't come here for a golden shower? I'm going to kindly ask you once to leave before me and my giant nerdy friend over there decide to bring you down to pound town. No, you don't, you don't want to leave. Okay, how about I just, how about I comb your hair? You don't seem to care. Crap. Okay, so this gross thing can go in the pot now. Yeah. And then we're, we're done. We're good. She can get out of here. Just get going. Ew. Should it be red? I don't know if red means it's wrong or not. I definitely didn't make the right potion, but at the same time, I kind of hope it just kills her. It didn't do anything. Nice sword, though. You're welcome! You know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Dungeon Brewmaster, guys. And I gotta say, this was really fun. Like, I'm amazed I haven't heard of this game before. I don't think it's particularly long. It might only be like one or two more episodes worth of content, but if you guys are interested in seeing more, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, let me know, and then maybe I'll return. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.